While reconsidering this vote today, I hope that you remember that the women who use this funding are not only your constituents, but they are responsible women making serious decisions about the health and welfare of themselves, their families, and our community. They deserve the same respect that you would give your own wives, mothers, daughters, and sisters. It is not near-term job growth. We are you know, not even on the list, North Carolina, for the big shale deposits. 90% of the shale gas that people are going to get in the U.S. over the next 30 years are coming from other places. It is dead wrong for the legislature to give us extra teaching positions with the right hand and take money back with the left hand. The, the academic core of the institution is already uh, stretched to the limit. In fact, you know, the class size has gone up each of the last three years. Uh, the number of sections we're able to offer our students has uh, been diminished. So we're, we've already lost uh, some academic quality uh, because of those, those cuts that we've experienced. This, this shouldn't be a partisan issue. And yet the Republicans who run Congress right now have not yet said whether or not they'll stop your rates from doubling. We're two months away. Working families are frustrated on tax day that they're paying their fair share and millionaires and too many corporations aren't doing what they need to to support the country that's done so right by them. We want politicians to start paying attention to what matters. That's investments in jobs, that's investments in public education, that's taking care of the middle class because the middle class made this country great. And again, this is another example of an area where I think our state general assembly has overreached and sort of thrown the state into a culture war where it runs counter to the main goal of what I think they ran on in 2010, which was creating jobs.